Looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Howdy, viewers. Morgan is on his way to meet Javier and rescue one of the members of their party from being either hung or sent to federal prison. This is called The First Shall Be The Last. I kind of made a few minor mistakes, but managed to survive. Um, my mistake was I was using a varmint rifle to fight the bad guys, and no wonder why they weren't going down so quickly. Let's get on with this mission and see where it leads us. Quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. We don't want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana. Then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles... Why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go sing. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. I'm going to do some fast forwarding through this because the trip is a little long and the dialogue, um, well, as nice as it is, can be a bit boring. Now you gotta go find a boat. Bad day. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Now you gotta follow this guy until you get to a certain point. And yeah, again, I'm fast forwarding because the dialogue, as nice as it is, can be slow and a bit boring. That bag over his head. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down. Out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here.
Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. At this point, it's a gunfight up to the um, bad guy's headquarters, and stupid me, uh, yeah, I use a <laughs> BB gun, essentially, the varmint rifle, instead of the carbine, which is a more powerful weapon. And remember, you gotta stop the loot. And this gunfight, I'm surprised I... Yeah, this is where I made the mistake. It's a varmint rifle. I barely survive and I'm trying to get Morgan's health up by eating food and taking stimulants and all this other stuff. It manages to work, but again, I used an improper weapon. I used a varmint rifle. Yeah, a 22. And there we go. I'm trying to feed him and I could have grabbed a more proper rifle. I'm going to fast forward this battle. I do survive, or Morgan survives, even though I'm incompetent. Now that the bad guys are dead, I'm going to take some time to loot. Always take time to loot. And again, I'm going to fast forward through this battle to get to the other part of the main story. Camped up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these equal putas. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should take Still time. Tower. Who's got a shot on it? 
using a varmint rifle when I should have been using the carbine. But look at that cinematic. I took the guy down and it was effective. Uh, I didn't realize I was using the wrong rifle until I ran out of ammunition after I climbed up the tower to shoot the bad guys as they fled. Now there's a reward for shooting him down and shooting the rope. And as you can see, I ran out of shots with the varmint rifle. And now the expose of rescuing Sean. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. Now you have some time to explore and loot and pick up some stuff. Um, there is guys lying around looting them in mission is complete. So you have some time to do some looting. And after a while you get to a point where crime has been reported. And you wind up with a uh, pursuit. You can stick around and try and fight your way out, but I wouldn't recommend it. And right about now, as I'm looking around trying to look for stuff to take, I get the wanted crime reported, and guys are closing in. So, better off to flee and not get caught or get in a gunfight. And now is a good time to say, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week, mainly on video games. And please feel free to leave comment and I try to respond to all of them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. Eat lead. Ah!